Shukuru Mungu kwa yale ambao umetenda. God we do more for you. Mungu atatenda mengi kwako. God we do more for you. Mungu atatenda mengi kwako. When you thank God for what you have done. Ukishukuru Mungu kwa vile umetenda. God we do more for you. Mungu anatenda makuu kwako. Today is Thanksgiving day. Siku ya leo ni siku ya kumshukuru Mungu. Say thank you Jesus. Sema Mungu asante Bwana Yesu. For keeping me alive. Kwa sababu ya kunitea kuweka hai. The end of 2023. Mwisho wa mwaka huu. And if you do that. Na ukifanya vile. We shall gather again 2024. Tutakuwa pamoja tena mahali hapo mwaka ujao. You will see the end of 2024. Na utaona ukimwaka ujao ukimalizia vile. And all the days of your life. Na siku zote za maisha yako. No evil shall befall you. Eh hakuna kitu mbaya ambayo itakufikia. If you believe it, shout it loud. Ama uramini sema amina iliyo na nguvu. Say thank Amen. you Jesus. Sema asante Yesu. Wave your hand wherever you are. Wave your hand. Hebu peperusha mkono wako mahali ulipo. Wave your hand. Hebu peperusha mkono wako. Father, I thank you today. Baba ninakushukuru siku ya leo. Bless everyone here. Bariki kila mmoja mahali hapa. I disappear that you may appear. Sisi tumeondoka ndiposa uonekane. I decrease that you may increase. Sisi tumenyenyekea ndiposa uinuke. Touch them through your word. Eh, utugo kwa hakikisha neno lako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. And everybody say hello. Mwata kila mmoja aseme amina ili nguvu Hebu keti chini lakini usitumbukie chini. Without wasting much of our time. Bila kupoteza wakati. We are going to the book of Luke chapter 5. Tutaenda kitabu cha Ruka 5. Luke chapter 5. Kitabu cha Ruka 5. Luke chapter 5. Ruka 5. I want to read verse 1 to 3. Nitasoma kuanzia 1 hadi 3. Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 3. Ruka 5 kuanzia 1 hadi 3. Biblia inasema ya kwamba ikawa mkutano walipo msonga wakisikiliza waki neno la Mungu yeye alikuwa amesimama kando ya ziwa ya Genesareti uh, akaona vyombo viwili vimekaa kando ya ziwa lakini mfupi wametoka wanaosha nyavu zao akaingia katika chombo kimoja ndicho chake Simeoni akamtaka akipereka mbali kidogo na pwani akaketi akawafundisha makutano alio chomboni and i want to preach on this among that says the word of god is life nataka kusema neno la mungu lina uhai the word of god is life neno la mungu ni uhai the bible say as they press towards the word bibili nasema walipokuwa wakienda they press to hear the word waliweza kuenda kusikiza neno because they know kwa maana walitua that the master has come kwa maana bwana amewajia deliver the word of god aweze kuwapatia neno la mungu and they press towards hearing the word na wamebarikiwa kusikiza neno anybody that wants to hear the word of god yeyote ambaye anataka kusikiza neno la mungu press to hear the word lazima uweke uusikize neno without the word of god pasipo neno la mungu your christian life is not complete maisha yako ya ukristo haijakamilika when we talk about the word of god wakati tunazungumza kuhusu neno la mungu we are talking about jesus christ tunaongea kuhusu yesu kristo jesus is the word of god yesu ni neno la mungu he is the son of god yeye ni mwana wa mungu everybody listen to me hebu kila mmoja nisikize the word of god is life unajua neno la mungu ni So whatever is dead in your life. Chochote ambacho kimefukufa. Come back alive. Eh lazima iweze kufufuka. The word of God. Kupitia neno la Mungu. Lift up your hand shout hallelujah. Hebu inua mkono wako useme hallelujah. Lift up your hand shout hallelujah. Inua mkono wako useme hallelujah. Everything you are looking for. Chochote ambacho unatafuta. Is in the word of God. Iko katika neno la Mungu. Hata ufunuo. Is in the word of God. Iko katika neno la Mungu. Hata uweze kuongozi. Iko katika neno. Hata katika kuwa huru. Iko katika neno. Miracle signs and wonders. Ah, mutiza ishara na mutiza. Is the word of God. listen to me. Hebu kila mmoja nisikize. The word of God is the foundation of our Christian faith. Neno la Mungu ni msingi wa imani yako. Unfortunately. Ah, na ikue. Unfortunately. Ikue. Many people come to church. Watu wengi wanakuja kanisani. For a different purpose. Kwa sababu ya kusudio tofauti. But I want to tell you something. Lakini nataka kukuambia. As we are ending 2023. Bila unamalizia mwaka huu. You must make up your mind. Lazima ukuwa umeamua. That from 2024. Eh mwaka utao. I will seek the face of God. Mimi nitatafuta uso wa Mungu. I will seek the face of God. Nitatafuta uso wa Mungu. For he that seeketh him shall find him. Yeyote anayemtafuta 
Mata. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mata aseme hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mutu aseme hallelujah. I have a message for Kenya. Mimi ni kona utumbo wa Kenya. Revival is coming in Kenya. Wamusho na kuda Kenya. Revival is coming in Kenya. Wamusho na kuda Kenya. And you shall be part of the revival. Na utakuwa moja wa wamusho. Somebody rise up wherever you are. Ah, hainu kama hali ulipo. Say to five people. Abia watu watano. You shall be part of this revival. Nazimu utakuwa moja wa wamusho. Can you stand up wherever you are? Ebu sima mama hali ulipo. Say to five people. Abia watu watano. You shall be part of this revival. Wanu utakuwa moja wa ufunu wa wamusho huu. Kayaba yaba ya. Thank you Jesus. Holy Ghost I give you praise. Rom takatifu na kupo shuku. Lift up your hands. Ebu ino mkono wako. Say oh Lord. Zema bwana yesu. I am available. Mimi niko tiari. I can not hear your voice. Mimi shiski sauti yako. Lift up your hands. Say oh Lord. Ino mkono wako zema bwana yesu. I am available. Mimi niko tiari. I am available. Mimi niko tiari. Set me on fire. Mimi nipe moto. Set me on fire. Iwetke moto. Can you shout hallelujah. Watani tuseme hallelujah. Now listen to me. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Ebu katitini unisikize. God is looking for an army. Mungu anangaria jeshi. An army. Jeshi. Soldiers. Eh jeshi. That shall carry the word of God. Ama mtabeba neno la Mungu. Every part of the world. Kila mahali ulimwanguni. Are you ready? Wewe uko tayari? Are you ready? Uko tayari? Are you ready for what God is about to do? Uko tayari vile Mungu anaenda kufanya? The Bible says. Biblia inasema in Matthew chapter 28. Mathayo 28 verse 18 19. Mstari wa 18 19. All power. Nguvu zote. Nguvu zote. In heaven. Eh kule binguni. Hata hata huku. Hata kule chini ya ardhi. Imepatiana kwangu. Go. Enenda. Into the world. Muri wangu kote. Preach the gospel. Eh uhubiri njiri. To every creation. Kwa kila kitu kiumbe. Baptizing them. Wabatize. In the name of the Father. Kwa jina la Baba. And of the Son. Na taramona. And of the Holy Ghost. Na tararom takatifu. Na utue. I am with you. Utue ni kupamota nawe. And unto the end. Eh hadi mwisho wa dahari. Everybody listen to me. Hebu kila moja nisikize. If you are born again. Ikiwa umezali wa mara pili. You are an evangelist. Ah wewe ni mwinjilisti. Did you hear what I said? Umesikiza vile nimesema? How many of you are born again? Ni wangapi hapa wameokoka? Lift up your hand if you are born again. Hebu inuoka inua tuone. If you are born again you are an evangelist. Ikiwa wewe umeokoka wewe ni mwinjilisti. Preaching the gospel. Kuhubiri njiri. It's not only for the bishop. Sio tu kwa askofu. Preaching the gospel. Kuhubiri njiri. It's not only for the pastors. Sio kwa wao wachungaji. Preaching the gospel. Ni kuhubiri njiri. It's for everyone that believes. Ni yeyote ambaye anaamini. It's for everyone that believes. Ni mtu yeyote ambaye anaamini. I prophesy side to you Nanyi na watabiria that the fire of evangelism Na kwamba Mungu moto wa ujilisti utakuwa tu yenu Inakuja tu yenu Inakuja tu yenu You shout hallelujah Yeah to say hallelujah God is looking for people Mungu anatafuta watu that we pray ambao watakuwa naomba a prayerful nation Eh hey, ambaye ni taifa la maombi that we pray Watu wataomba and say Lord watasema Bwana Yesu Set me on fire Mimi nitie moto Set me on fire Nitie moto Set me on fire Nitie moto The church of Jesus Ah kanisa la Yesu Kristo become so cold Imekuwa oh ni fugu fugu so cold. fugu fugu I don't know what is wrong with them Mimi sijui ni nini wanafanya in the 70s ah miaka ya 70 in the 80s you see people utaona watu weeping wanaria when they hear the voice of god wakisikia sauti ya mungu when they hear the gospel wakisikia njiri mioyo yao is burning for christ ili kuinadiria mungu but today lakini leo leo today leo there is no more zeal for the lord hakuna sasa kulia i want to tell you something nataka kuambia jambo i am here mimi niko hapa to announce to you niweze kuwatangazia you shall be the next Elijah. Utakuwa Elijah mwingine. I cannot hear your amen. Mimi sisikii ukisema amina. You shall be the next Elijah. Wewe utakuwa kama Elijah. God is looking for Elijah. Mungu anaangalia Elijah. God is looking for Daniel. Mungu anatafuta Daniel. God is looking for Moses. Mungu anatafuta Musa. God is looking for Deborah. Mungu anatafuta Deborah. God is looking for Esther. Mungu anatafuta Esther. God is looking for people. Na Mungu anatafuta watu. That shall change the course of nature. Abana watabadilika kwa sababu ya hali. Mimi nakuombea. I pray for you. Mimi nakuombea. Pray for you. Nakuombea. That you shall be among them. Utakuwa kati yao. You rise up and shout hallelujah. Ah, simama useme hallelujah. Rise up and shout hallelujah. Simama useme hallelujah. Simama useme hallelujah. Look at 
at your neighbor. Wewe. Well, well. Look at your neighbor. Hebu angalia jirani. Say neighbor. Sema jirani. Say neighbor. Sema jirani. As you are looking at me. Mimi vile unaniangalia. I am on fire for Mimi God. Mimi niko katika moto wa Mungu. I am on fire. Mimi niko katika moto wa Mungu. If you touch me. Ukiniguza. You will burn. Wewe utatomeka. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hata mtu aseme hallelujah. The way they are looking at me. Vina ambavyo wanakuangalia. Who is this man? Sasa huyu ni nani? What kind of man is this? Sasa huyu ni mtu wa aina gani? Listen to me. Hebu nisikize. I am not normal. Mimi si mtu wa kawaida. I am not a normal Mimi human. Mimi si mtu wa kawaida. I want to tell you something. Mimi nataka kuambia jambo. If you are normal, you cannot survive in this world. Wewe kama mtu ni wa kawaida, hauwezi ishi katika ulimwengu huu. The only people we want to see here. Wale watu tunataka kuona hapa. Are the soldiers of Christ. Ni wale wanajeshi wa Yesu. If you are a civilian. Kama wewe ni mwanajeshi of Christ. Eh wa Kristo. You are not permitted to be here. Wewe hausitahili kuwa hapa. Because we are looking for soldiers. Ah tunatafuta wanajeshi. Say to neighbor I am a soldier of Christ. Ah tunasema wewe ni mwanajeshi. I am a soldier. I am a soldier. Wewe ni mwanajeshi. I don't know about you. Mimi sijui kukuhusu. I am not normal. Mimi si mtu wa kawaida. Because I carry the grace of God. Mimi si mtu wa kawaida. Because I carry the power of God. Na beba Anybody that carries the kind of power Elijah carry can never be a normal human. Being. I want you to go into 2024. With a burning zeal for God. A zeal that will transform life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can you say Lord I need your power? Man of God without power christianity is vain mtumishi wa mungu pasipo nguvu au kristo ni ubatili christianity is not a religion eh hiyo sio dini christianity is the death and resurrection of christ hiyo ni kufufuka na kuzaliwa kukufa na kufufuka is somebody hear what i'm saying sijui kama unasikia if you are a child of god kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu and the devil is still messing with you na shetani anakupiga vita there is problem with you kuna kitu inakusumbua there is problem with you Somebody say I am untouchable. Oh my God, I don't like your spirit. I don't like your spirit. Somebody lift up your hand say I am untouchable. Say louder, louder, I am untouchable. Can you stand up and scream? I am untouchable. I I came here to Kenya with the gospel of salvation with the gospel of Jesus with the gospel of consecration I am here today to let you know that God has not finished with you yet I cannot hear your amen God has not finished with you yet from today your life shall change I say your life shall change. I say your life shall change. Can you jump up and shout fire? Somebody jump up and shout fire. Set to five people. The Lord shall set you on fire. Can you move around? Set to five people. The Lord shall set you on fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. We are looking for a generation of radical Christians. We are looking for a generation of Christians that we preach the gospel with power. We are looking for a generation of Christians that will carry the fire of evangelism. We are looking for a generation of Christians that will carry the fire of evangelism. If you fail your family, you are a disgrace. Wewe ukianguka kwa familia yako unaletea aibu. Can I tell you something? Watani niwaambie. That family you came from. Mahali umetoka kwenye familia yako. God chose you. Mungu alikutagua. To make an impact in your family. Ni kwa uleta mabadiliko kwa familia yenu. Before God will deliver a family. Kabla Mungu akomboe familia. He will raise a Moses. Lazima inue Musa. Can you lift up your neighbor's hand? Hebu isukua mkono wa jirani. Your neighbor you are the Moses of your family. Wewe ndio Musa. You are the Moses of your family. Wewe ni Musa wa familia yenu. Moses of your family. Kaya bahaka. 
Holy Ghost, I give you praise. Holy Ghost, I give you praise. I see somebody here going home transformed. I see somebody here going home with revival. Everybody listen to me. Revival is coming. Revival is coming. I say revival is coming. Revival will come to your family. Revival will come to the church. Revival will come to Kenya. Revival will come to Tanzania. Revival will come to Rwanda. Revival will come to Zambia. Revival will come to Africa. Somebody shout fire. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know that Christ is coming? Do you know that Jesus is coming? Hello? Hello? Are you with me? Those of you behind, can you hear me? Do you know that Jesus is coming? Now, let me tell you something. Jesus is coming for a pure people. Jesus is coming for a holy church. Jesus is coming for a united church. Jesus is coming for people who are ready and prepared. Everybody listen. As we approach the year 2024, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. If you look at the book of Matthew 24, Matthew 24, the Bible says, in the last days, men, women, they shall rise against one another. The father will rise against the son. The daughter will rise against the son. The mother. There shall be war in different nations. There shall be earthquake in diverse places. There shall be famine. There shall be pestilence. All these things shall be the sign of the coming of Christ. And now, what is written in the Bible is happening in our time. When you look at Europe, Europe. You see war. Vita. Russia and Ukraine. Akule, Russia you look Ukraine. at the Middle East. Kule, you see war. Wa, Israel vita. and Palestine. E, kule, Israel na you look at Africa. Africa. You see hunger. You see disease. You see political violence. Everything that is written in the Bible kitu is coming to pass in our time. Look zetu. at the problem. The church of Christ is not even ready. The church is not ready. The church is busy fighting themselves. Pastors are fighting themselves. Believers are fighting themselves. There is high rank of immorality in the church. Uncleanliness. Unrighteousness. Envy. Jealousy. The church is not ready. And that To let you know that this is the time. This is the time. Can you hear what I'm saying? Jesus preached without microphone. And people could hear his voice. Moses preached without microphone. And people could hear his voice. So you must hear the word of God. Now, listen to me. There is one thing that will happen before the coming of Christ. And that thing is revival. For God will revive his church. Did you hear what I said? God will revive his church. Now, everybody listen to me. When I talk about the church, I am not talking about the church. 
chairs. I am not talking about the pillar. I am not talking about the building. I am talking about you. Can you stand up, say to five people, you are the church. Everybody stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Say to five people, you are the church. 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 And Jesus is the head of the church. Can somebody jump up and scream and make some noise to the king of The Bible says, in Matthew 16 verse 18 Jesus said Jesus said upon this rock I will build my church and the gate of hell the gate of hell the gate of hell shall not prevail even though the gate of hell will fight against the church, but the gate of hell shall not prevail. I am here for an assignment to make sure that you are on fire for God. Can you lift up your two hands and say, Lord, set me on fire. Set me on fire for you. That is the spirit that we are going to cross to 2024 with. So that in the midnight you will no more be sleeping but you will be praying throughout the night. May God return back the grace of prayer to the church. So many Christians can no longer pray. Sit down, sit down. Can you lift up your phone? phone, phone, phone. I want to see your phone. Lift up your phone. Lift up your phone. You are doing it like this. You don't want me to see your phone. Lift it up very well. That phone you are holding in your hand is the problem you have. That is why you are no more praying. Because every day you are on TikTok. You are on Facebook. You are on Twitter. You are on Snapchat. You are on Instagram. You are on YouTube. And you don't have time to study your Bible. You don't have time to pray. And the enemy is destroying your spiritual life. If you can keep your phone aside and pick up your Bible and begin to study from Genesis to Revelation, I tell you, God shall encounter you and your life shall change. Your life shall be transformed. 2024 is not a year for Facebook. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. 2024 is not a year for TikTok. 2024 is a year of fire. Moto. Somebody shout fire. What I'm to say, my moto. I can't hear your voice. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Jump up and shout fire. Amen. Enough is enough. Imetosha. Enough is enough. Imetosha. Enough is enough. Imetosha. This time wakati hu. is the right time. Ni wakati marum. The Holy Ghost is taking over. Roho I said the Holy Ghost is taking over. Roho I said the Holy Ghost is taking over. Roho the Holy Ghost will take over your husband. Take over kushukani. your wife. Take wako. over your children. Take over everything around you. Na kila kitu kwa Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout, Lord. Help our generation. Help our generation. This generation do not serve God. No more fear of God. 
Revival will return back the fear of God. Revival will return back the fear of God. Hallelujah. 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 Today you are here for thanksgiving. Do you know why we are here? Do you know why you need to thank God? Because of his grace upon you. Everything you are today is by the grace of God. You are a Christian by the grace of God. You are in church by the grace of God. You can pray by the grace of God. You are blessed by the grace of God. You are married by the grace of God. You have children by the grace of God. You went to school by the grace of God. You are still alive. You are still alive. You are still alive. It's by the grace of God. Amen. It is not by your power. When you go to the mortuary, when you go to the cemetery, you see people that are dead. Great people. Handsome men. Beautiful women. Intellectuals. Very mighty in the society. They are lying there in the mortuary. Lying there inside the grave. But look at you. You are still alive. God is keeping you alive so that you can serve him. Amen. My prayer for you is that you will not miss the rapture of the church. You will not miss the rapture of the church. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because Jesus will come like a thief in the night. My prayer is that all the churches in, in Kenya will go for evangelism. Because I noticed something. All over the world, the church has lost the mission of evangelism and so on. And this is the main purpose that Jesus came. Everybody listen. I love pastors. I love prophets. I love prophets. I love apostles. They are doing a mighty job. But you see evangelists. They are the best. Because their mission is to win souls. And I'm here to give you a message. That if you are born again. You are an evangelist. Finally, before we begin to pray, in the book of Acts chapter 2, if you look at verse 1, 2, 3, in the day of Pentecost, something happened to the apostles. Jesus said to them, go to the upper room chamber in Jerusalem. Wait. 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 For the comforter. The comforter. The Holy Ghost shall come upon you and he shall baptize you. Everybody listen. You can only preach the gospel after the Holy Ghost have come upon you. And the Bible says as Jesus gave them instructions they went to the upper room and they began to wait and suddenly the Bible said there was a mighty rushing wind mighty rushing wind and the Holy Ghost came and filled the house where they were sitting and they began to speak in tongues we need that today in our church. We need to go back to the time of John the Baptist. We need to go back to the time of Paul the Apostle. We need to go back to the time of Peter. We need to go back to the time of the Apostles. I am seeing 
great generations that God will raise. There was a little boy I saw when I walked in. I was, I was touched. Where is that boy that was singing with the choir? The only small boy among big men. Where is that boy? There was a boy that was singing with the choir. Please, can you bring him here? Amen. And you see how he was dancing. He was dancing. And he felt very comfortable in the midst of adults. So, which means that he is not an ordinary child. If at this age, he can be comfortable with adults. He is not an ordinary child. So he is going to be our little apostle. And we grow into a bigger apostle. Where are the choir? Can you stand? You see this boy? He is an apostle. And when you look at him, he is not afraid. Very bold. Very authoritative. These are the people we are looking for. God will use you mightily. Clap your hand for Jesus. I want to challenge you now. Are you ready for what God is about to do? Everybody stand up say, I am ready. I am ready. Say, Lord, I am ready. I am ready, ready O Lord. Lift up your hand and cry out. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Say, Lord, I am ready. Set me on fire. I'm going to give you three minutes to pray. Three minutes to pray. And you're going to ask God to set you on fire. Can you clap your hand and pray? Clap your hand and pray. Clap your hand and pray. Say, Lord, set me on fire. Can I hear your prayer? Can I hear your prayer? Thank you, Lord. Father, set me on fire. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Ah, clap your hand and pray. Clap your hand and pray. Say, Lord, set me on fire. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, I give you praise. Holy Ghost, I give you praise. Holy Ghost, I give you praise. Set me on fire. For 2024. Set me on fire. For 2024. My spiritual life. My my prayer life shall be revived today, today, today. In Jesus' name, lift up your two hands. All the church leaders here, all the church workers here, and all the evangelists, all the workers and evangelists, pastors, come out here. I want to pray for you. We are going to pray that God will set you on fire. If you know you are here and you are doing something for God, I want you to come out. Don't waste time. We don't have time. Come, come, come. All the workers, all the evangelists, come and line up here. Choir members, as you are coming out, say, Lord, set me on fire. Set me on fire. Line up, line up, line up. If you know you are in the congregation and you want God to set you on fire for the gospel, come and join them behind. You want to serve God better. You want your spiritual life to grow next year. 
join them. As you are standing here, open your heart. Open your heart. Lift up your two hands. And begin to speak in tongues. And begin to pray. And say, Lord, set me on fire. Can I hear your prayers? Lift up your two hands. Open your heart. And say, Lord, set me on fire. Set me on fire. Set me on fire. Me on fire. For 2024. Can I hear your prayers? Set me on fire. Holy Ghost, set me on fire. 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 Fire for the gospel. Fire for the gospel. Fire for the gospel. In 2024, I shall serve the Lord. In 2024, I shall serve the Lord. Mimi yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yes, Lord. Can I hear your prayers? What an Can I hear your prayers? What an Can I hear your prayers? What an Father, release your fire. Baba, tiri anguzako. Fresh fire. Ah, moto. Fresh fire. Moto mpia. 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 Kala bala bala basia. Oh yes. Help her, help her, help her. Lift up your hand, close your eyes. Fresh fire is coming, it's coming. The Lord is about to use you for his glory. The Lord says, stay focused. I see an oil upon your life. And the Lord is preparing you. Just like he prepared Samuel. And the Lord said, remain faithful. Remain faithful. I, the Lord, shall anoint you. Okay. Amen. Father, release your fire. Baba, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. Okay. Okay. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Bishop, come. There is an assignment for you over this man. We are going to pray for him for two weeks. Every Sunday. You are going to bless him. Because the Lord wants to use this man. And the Lord is going to use you. To prepare him. Because I see what God is about to do through him. He needs your prayer. So on Sunday, after the service, you will pray for him. Then the second Sunday, you will pray for him again. And God will open his eyes and begin to show him great things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You have great men in your midst. And I'm seeing more men that are coming. There are people that God is sending to you. They are stranded. They are confused. They are scattered all over the city. The Lord will gather them. There are thousands. I can see them. They are in thousands. The Lord will gather them. And hand them over to you. Amen. What you are doing, you have not started. There is greater height that is coming. There is greater height that is coming. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lift Jesus. up your hands. Lift up your hands. Anyone that is here and the enemy is placing accusation upon you, I command let that accusation be removed by the blood of Jesus. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said, I should tell you that your sorrow is over. 
There is a miracle upon you now. Your family is going to enjoy the blessings and the mercies of God. And the Lord says, I should tell you, as many that offend you, Forgive them for your own peace. Forgive them for your own peace. As many that offend you. Forgive them because of your own peace. Because the Lord is aware. Everybody lift up your hands. Say after me, Lord. Say it again. Say, Lord. Set me on fire. Fire. Say Lord Set me on fire Lift up your two hands Lift up your two hands All of you in the congregation Lift up your hands Lift up your hands There is somebody here that is going for surgery on Tuesday The doctor has booked you for surgery The Lord said that surgery is cancelled Yes Lord Every disease in your body is going away. I cast away sickness. I cast away disease. I cast away disease. I cast away HIV. I cast away diabetes. I cast away high blood pressure. You are free. 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 Yes. Asante Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Receive divine grace. Pokea, pokea. Holy Ghost, take over her Nema life. Ungu. I see a new garment upon you. Take it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive pokea it. Receive 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 it. Holy Ghost. Are you married? Where is your wife? Where is your wife? I see the Lord transforming your wife. God is about to do something in her life. What the enemy intended for her. The Lord is removing it. I see a change in her life. Oh yes. Holy Ghost, I give you praise. I speak in the life of everyone here. In the year 2024, the Lord shall set you on fire for the gospel. 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 Yes. Holy Ghost. That person that is sick in your family, I see God healing them. Anybody that is sick now in your family, in your family I see healing taking place. 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 Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Thank you, Jesus. 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 Whatever is not of God, the Lord is taking it away. The power of God is coming. The power of God is touching you. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost. Rohom Takatifu. Holy Ghost. Rohom Takatifu. Holy Ghost. Rohom Takatifu. Holy Ghost. Rohom Takatifu. 
Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu. Receive it. Pokea. Watch out, watch out, watch Mwangalia, out. Mwangalia. Watch out, watch Ebu, out. Mwangalia, huyo. Watch out, watch Ebu, out. Mwangalia. Watch out, watch mwangalia, out. Mwangalia. Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu. Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu. What do you do for your living? Ni nini unafanya kikazi? Electrical. Amen. Are you partnering with anybody? Kuna mtu ambaye umeshirikiana naye kikazi? You have a partner. Kuna mtu mnashirikiana naye. Yule mtu mnafanya kazi naye. Come. Hebu njo, njo hapa. You will not have any problem. Come, come. Hautakuwa na shida yote kwenye kazi. Because I see a problem. Nimeona shida mbele yako. But the Lord want to set you free from. Na Mungu anataka kukuondoa kukutia huru. There is something that is about to happen. Kuna kitu ambacho iko mbele yako inataka kutendeka. God will speak on your behalf. Lakini Mungu atakutetea. I see somebody stand there. I'm going to pray for you now. Utaombewa. Come. Kuja, kuja. That lady there. Yule mwanamke pale. Please come, come. Mka, m- yule mwanamke. That lady with pink. Yule mvaa pink. Wewe unaangalia nyuma. Jesus. Yes. Are you, are you a member of this church? Wewe ni mshirika wa kanisa hili? Are you a member of this church? Wewe ni mshirika wa kanisa hili? Bishop, do you know her? Unamtua? Do you know her? Unamfahamu? How, how long have you been in this church? Umekuwa kanisani miaka ngapi? One month. One month. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. And God brought you here. Mungu alikuleta hapa for a purpose. Kwa sababu ya kusudio. The Lord said you should remain faithful. Mungu amesema ukuwe mwaminifu. The Lord said remain faithful. Ukuwe mwaminifu sana. Pastor Samuel go and speak into her ear. Hebu uweze kuzungumza kwenye masikio yake. Say peace. Asema amani. Are you hearing me? Useme amani. Stay in the hand of the Lord. Ukae katika mikono ya Mungu. So that God will finish what he's doing in your life. Ndipo Mungu amalizie kazi anataka kufanya kwenye maisha yako. brought you here. Mungu alikuleta hapa for a purpose. Kwa sababu ya makusudio. And the hand of God shall be upon your life. Na mkono wa Mungu utakuwa juu yako. You will never make mistake in your life. Hautafanya kosa kwenye maisha yako. The hand of God is upon you. Mungu, mkono wa Mungu uko juu yako. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Kneel down. Hebu piga magoti. I cancel every confession. Nimekataa kutanganyikiwa kote. I cancel anything that will put you in a jeopardy. Yeyote ambaye atakuingiza kwenye moto. The Lord will bless your business. Mungu atabariki biashara yako. Struggle is all over. Sasa kungangana imeisha. Receive divine impartation. Sasa ukutane na njia ya kiungo. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Lift up your hand everybody. Hebu kila mmoja inua mkono wako tu. Say I am blessed of the Lord. Sema mimi nimebarikiwa na Mungu. Say I am blessed of the Lord. Mimi nimebarikiwa na Mungu. Say I am blessed of the Lord. Mimi nimebarikiwa na Mungu. There is somebody here you cannot sleep at night. Kuna mtu hapa hararangi usiku. You are living in fear. Eh unakuwa na uoga mwingi. You are depressed. Kila wakati unakuwa na mawazo mazito. You are having insomnia. Eh wewe hauna usingizi. I have a message for you. Niko na utumbe wako. The Lord said for today you shall Mungu sleep well. kutoka leo utarala. No more insomnia. Wewe hautakosa usingizi. No more depression. Hautakuwa na mawazo mazito. In Jesus name. Thank Holy you Ghost. Lord. You are free. Wewe umekombolewa. You are free. Umekombolewa. You are free. Umekombolewa. Where are your children? Watoto wako wako wapi? Sir, sir, come, come, come. Kuja kwanza, kuja kwanza. How many children do you have? Uko na watoto wangapi? How many children do you have? Three. Three. Bring them I want to pray. Wale te haraka ni waombe. One of them. Wa mmoja wa watoto. One of them. Mmoja wa watoto is going to be a great child. Atakuwa mtoto ambaye ni mkuu. A very mighty child. Mtoto ambaye ni mkubwa. Where are they? Wako wapi watoto? This one? Huyu? This one and who again? Na mngani mwingine? Okay, stand here. Hebu simama hapa. You are going you are going to you are going to pray for them. Utawaombea? You are going to lay hand on them. Uwekere mikono. And then you will say after me. Na utasema nyuma yangu. Lord. Bwana Yesu. Bless my children. Bariki watoto wangu. From today. Kutoka siku ya leo. Whatever is not of God. Chochote ambacho si cha Mungu. That is upon you. Ambayo iko juu yenu. Is removed. Imeondolewa. The Lord will bless you. Mungu atawabariki. All the days of your life. Ila siku ya maisha yenu. You will never be afraid. Hamtaogopa tena. You will never be forsaken. Hautaweza kuachwa. You will do great things. Mtatenda makuu. You will not bring shame. Hamta Kwa 
family. family. But you will bring blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Father, as you have prayed, so shall it be. Bless them today. In Jesus' name. Hold, the neighbor, hold your neighbor, let me pray. Ebo pray, eh, shika nani mikono tuombe, tuombe. Hold your neighbor. Eh, shika jirani yako mkono. And then lift up your hand. Na sasa muinue mikono yote pamoja. Church, lift up your hand. Ebo kanisa inue ni mikono tu. I want to pray for this church. Ninataka kuombea kanisa hili. Man of God have a great vision. Mutumishi wa Mungu wako na maono makubwa. Because there is a place I see that God prepare for you. Kuna mahali ninaona Mungu anakiwaandalia. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Father, we give you glory. Asante bwana Yesu. Bless this church. Bariki kanisa hili. After this thanksgiving. Na baada ya kuweza kushukuru, there shall be thanksgivings. Kutakuwa kila wakati watakuwa na shukuru. Every day in this church. Kila siku katika kanisa hili. Revival. Kutakuwa na uamsho. Expansion. Kutakuwa na kupanuka. Growth. Atakuwa na hata kukua. Anointing. Akutakuwa na upako. Upon this mission. Katika kanisa hili. And we pray for your servant and his family. Ninaomba mtumishi wa Mungu na familia. That you will keep them. Na utaweza kuwahifadhi. And bless them. Na uwabariki. The enemy shall not touch them. Hakuna shetani atawaguza. Everyone that is here today. Kila mmoja kwa mahali hapa siku ya leo. I pray for you. Nimewaombea. All the workers in the church. Wale ambao ni wafanyikazi hapa. Evangelists. Wale wanjiristi. Choir. Hata choir. Pastors. Hata wachungaji. All the protocols. Wote ambao wanafanya kazi. Everyone that is here. Yote ambao yuko mahali hapa. And all the members of this church. Na washirika wote kanisani. Today. Siku ya leo. Today. Siku ya leo. Today, 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 the hand of God shall rest upon you. 2024 shall be a great year. The Lord shall set you on fire for his kingdom. And every battle you are facing in your marriage, in your family, your health, your finance, from today it is all over. You are delivered and you are healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now before you go back to your seat, we are going to shout hallelujah seven times. And at the seventh time, everybody will begin to rejoice. Are you ready? Lift up your two hands. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? We will shout hallelujah seven times. And at the seventh time, you will begin to rejoice. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, go! Hallelujah! One, two, Hallelujah! Three, Hallelujah! Four, Hallelujah! Five, Hallelujah! Six, Hallelujah! Seven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise and adoration, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Go back to your seat. It is well with you. Celebrate Jesus wherever you are. Thank you, Jesus. Hapendo tusichoke, hebu tusimame tushangilie Bwana ni siku ya kushukuru. Ametutumia mtumishi wake neema ya kimataifa. Don't take grace for granted. Hebu usichoke, don't get tired. Just lift up your hands. Just humbly say thank you Lord. Thank you Lord for your servant. Hebu pigia Yesu makofi. Hey, I'm serious. Ongezea Yesu makofi. 
Haleluya, 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 haleluya. Praise the Lord. Good. Nani nataka kuokoka? Aombewe aokoke. Unataka kusema Yesu niokoi. Bye bye. Shetani na ufalme wako. Nani nataka kuombewa na mtumishi wa Mungu? Kabla hajaenda kwa ofisi. Anyone who want to surrender his life or her life to Jesus and the man of God will pray for you. Anyone? Okay, let's celebrate the Lord. Let's celebrate the Lord for the opportunity. Man of God, we are blessed for the grace you carry for the body of Christ and for the world. May God increase you and open many doors because you have the passion and the zeal. Amen. Can we allow our visitors to, to go and have some tea up there? Let's appreciate them once again in Jesus' name. Let's appreciate them in the name of Jesus. Now, have your seats. Kila mtu atulie. 